Hello everyone! How are you all? I feel like it's been absolutely ages since I've last spoken to you properly. I'm dead sorry that this one I've been waiting to film for like a week, 10 days, I don't know. I was looking online for some new perfumes and I came across a little business in the UK, all handmade cosmetics and stuff including perfumes called Fairy Pants. I have a bag of perfumes here, perfume samples. So, Fairy Pants. I love the name Fairy Pants, I think it's really cute. Um, I was after new perfumes and I came across these guys. They are based in Chester in the UK, so they're not actually that far from me. And they make perfumes that got some really unusual scents, like apple pie. So I've had these for ages and I'm really, 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 really excited to try them. And I've been really good and not opened them. Like I've opened the package just to check, but I've not opened the actual perfumes themselves. Fairy Pants are really cool because they've got a range of 15 perfumes, all completely handmade, completely cruelty free and vegan. And they have little samples that you can buy, little atomizers, which I'm going to show you in a second, that are bigger than your standard perfume um, samples that are normally like this big. They come in those little weird test tube -y things and they're tiny and a little bit shit. These are actually decent size, they're £1.50 for the, each sample, there's 15 in the range. So if you're not sure on what scent's going to suit you, buy all of them because it's not actually going to cost you that much. That's exactly what I did. So I have uh, bought some of these little perfume tester strips because I figured it would be better to test them on strips rather than on my own skin because everyone has like their own kind of scent that we can't smell ourselves but it does affect the way perfume smells like what smells good on me might not smell good on you and vice versa so I bought some of those to sort of set like to actually smell the perfumes and not how the perfume would smell on me I hope that makes sense and I was really 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 pleased with this because I also got sweets I got two packs of Palmer Violets I love Palmer Violets instantly one of the perfumes is called Palmer Violets so we'll see if it actually smells like sweets of course a little business card as well here, maybe you'll be able to see it, so my camera's going to focus on it. No, it's not going to because it's way too bright. But sweet little card with 10% discount code on the back as well, which I'm not going to show you because it's mine. But if you do order from them as well, you'll probably get one. And obviously I will put all the links to Fairy Pants down in the description below. As well as perfume, she does eyeshadows, nail care, skin care. She even does her own completely cruelty free um, nail brush remover, which I'm quite interested to try. I'm going to get these open. I'm going to actually do them in the order that they're on the website because they have like, cute little descriptions for each one of them. So I'm going to read those out to you as well. So because there are 15 samples for me to get through, this probably isn't going to be the shortest video in the world. I apologise. Alrighty, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is rhubarb and custard. There we go. Rhubarb and custard is a sweet confectionery cord of juicy rhubarb and vanilla custard. Everyone's childhood favourite. This was a favourite with our testers purely because it's so juicy, so I'm expecting big things from my rather custard. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's try it. I can smell that already. Definitely rhubarb. I can definitely smell rhubarb. That is really, really cool. That smells so good. Definitely rhubarb. I can't smell custard right now, but maybe when it dries off a little bit, I'll kind of get more of a custy thing. But it's definitely rhubarb and really sweet. I like that. That's really unusual. That's what I was hoping from these because they are such unusual scent names that the smells would actually be really unusual as well because I quite like unusual perfumes. Oh, no, that, that's a good start. That's a really good start. Oh god, I'm so excited to try the rest of them now. Right, there we go, that's one done. Next up we've got Strawberry Bellini. Okay, so Strawberry Bellini is a light fruity scent, strawberry cord blend of strawberry juice, green top notes and a sweet multi base. Test of salt, this is perfect for someone younger or at least a young mind. Fun, fruity, this is perfect for daytime. Oh wow! Oh that's really nice. It's really definitely a fruity scent as opposed to a sweet scent. Oh I like that. You can definitely tell there's something else in there as well other than the strawberry. I can't quite get what it is but that is really really nice. It's really quite delicate. I like that one. Oh here we go. Palmer Violet. Yes, as I've already mentioned, Palmer Violets are like one of my favourite sweets from when I was a kid. I absolutely love Palmer Violets. I can't wait to eat those later actually. So let's give the Palmer Violet perfume a try. Oh my god, I've not even smelled it yet. That is definitely Palmer Violet. Wow! What's their description like? Palmer Violet is a soft, powdery, floral scent. Fragrance opens with green violet leaf and violet flower, followed by a heart of Palmer Violets, warm rose and freesia, all descending into base notes of powdery, violet and iris. And this is a favourite. Tessa thought it smelled exactly like palmer violets and thought it would suit anyone, even if they don't use it like floral scent. It smells exactly like palmer violets. That is not lying. 
Oh my god, like, hang on, let's just compare, let's just compare. Yeah, Palm of Violets, this is a stronger smell. Oh, that is really nice. <laughs> that just smells like quite kind of fresh as opposed to like fresh floral. Oh god, that is so cool. <laughs> Wow, it smells exactly like Palma Violet Sweet. Amazing. Okay, so this is one I'm actually quite excited to try. This is Apple Crumble. And it's kind of a really nice idea of walking around and smell like a freshly baked dessert. Why the hell not? It's a bit different. Okay, so description. Apple Crumble is a rich, warm, fruity scent. A delicious blend of warm apple puree and brown sugar highlighted by fruity notes of raisin, peach plum, sorry, rich plum, and lemon peel. All this covered in a golden topping of all butter pastry crumbles. I'm expecting to smell pastry. <laughs> Our testers love this. They thought it was very warm and sweet but spicy at the same time. Perfect if you like sweet oriental fragrances. Okay, let's see. If I'm going to spray this way because I feel like I'm spraying everything over there and over here it just kind of smells like a sweet shop. That smells like freshly baked apple crumble. Like, I'm, I'm not even lying, I will point out that this video is not sponsored by Fairy Pants. I kind of just done this off my own back, because I was curious. That is the most bizarre scent, but oh my god. It smells like something you can eat. I'm not going to try and eat it because I think it might kill me, but you know. It literally does, I can smell freshly baked pastry and apple and a bit of cinnamon. Oh my god, that smells amazing. <laughs> wow. So I was expecting that one to be a little bit weird actually, but it smells so nice. Like I can't even describe how much it smells like you've just opened the oven and there's like a freshly baked apple crumble in there. It smells so lovely. And it's still kind of like in my nose. It's kind of like a little weird spicy sort of smell in my nose. It's really, oh, mm, yeah, that one's good. All right, so another one that I was dead excited to try because it just seems like the weirdest idea for perfume, but it seems like a it might be a really good one actually is cola bottles. And most people will remember going to a pick and mix as a kid and you would get the cola bottles jelly sweets. This is supposed to smell exactly like those cola bottle sweets. Going by the description on the website, cola bottles is a sweet confectionery cord of cola with supporting notes of juicy lemon and lime with spicy cinnamon and a mouth-watering fizz. Our testers loved this. They want to know how we got it to smell exactly like cola bottles but we couldn't tell them. I'm expecting big things from Cola Bottle. I'm not gonna lie, I'm expecting big things from this little perfume. It smells like the fizzy ones. Like, you used to get two, you get the one without the fizz and the one with the fizz. This smells like the fizzy one. Oh God, what's going on? Like, you can smell cola in there. And I've got lemon and lime as well, and yes, it smells fizzy. That's weird, how do things smell fizzy? Okay, yeah, I call witchcraft on this one because how do you make things smell carbonated? Uh, it smells really good. Oh, I'm impressed with that. I'm very impressed with that. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this one as well. I'm kind of excited to try all of them really, aren't I? Some people remember that I mentioned that my favourite scent uh, or favourite taste or anything like that is generally speaking coconut. We have a pina colada one, just so happens to be my favourite cocktail because you yeah, know, coconut. So this one, I'm excited for. The website description says, pina colada is a fruity, summery scent my favourite kind. A fruity citrus accord opening with notes of lime, sherbetty lemon with a heart of pineapple and peach on a sweet base of raspberry, coconut and sugar candy. This is for those who like to smell sweet and fruity. Not too sticky. It's perfect if you want to make a statement. Oh god, I'm excited. Okay, okay. Let's just spray this away from the camera and let's spray it over here towards my clothes. Because then it will smell like coconut forever. It smells like a pina colada cocktail. That is really sweet. Re that is actually really sweet and summery. But it smells, I'm noticing quite a bit of a theme with these is that they smell very clean, like you've just kind of washed in, you kind of had a shower in the scent as opposed to you just sprayed it on. Definitely got pineapple in there. And then like kind of just like a little hint of a coconut. And, oh, that is so tasty. Oh, it smells good then. It smells really good. Mm, I like it. Oh, I've just put that away in a little bag that I'm keeping them all in and all of a sudden I've got sherbet. I can smell sherbet. <laughs> I think I might have to try and get rid of like the, the sherbet smell in my nose. It does kind of just smell like a like you know sh sherbet dip dabs up there or something. Oh, but it smells clean. Ah, oh, that is really weird. Like, how can they smell so nice and so clean and so fruity and lovely and tasty and like you could eat them all in one go? <laughs> like I said earlier on with the cola bottles, I totally call witchcraft on these. Okay, so this one should be interesting. This is Irish cream. 
Okay, so their description. Irish cream is a gorgeous, spicy scent, rich and intoxicating. I would hope so. It opens with top notes of citrus, lavender and lemon before warming to a heart of toffee, ginger and vanilla. It closes with warm woods, amber and musk. I'll test to say it's a gorgeous scent and would suit anyone who likes their scent spicy and warm. That sounds really nice. I know I've already said that I kind of prefer my, my perfumes to be a little bit more on the fruity sweet side, but this sounds like it's going to be an interesting one. So let me, where do I spray it? I kind of like spray it all around me. I'm going to go this way. Okay, so definitely musky. Again, it smells clean. I would actually say that this one could probably be suited as like an aftershave as opposed to a perfume because it's definitely kind of got that typical aftershave, musky, kind of slightly spicy smell. It has really, really nice, kind of like just slightly masculine and I mean, to be fair, it could be considered unisex really if we're going to go down that road. But yeah, again, clean which is, as I say, I think it's a bit of a theme that they all smell quite kind of clean, which is like, quite nice actually. I would put that as more of an aftershave than a perfume, personally. Definitely musky, not one that I would probably personally choose to wear, just because I don't think that kind of scent suits me. It smells quite tasty as well though. Mm, definitely a very, very, very individual smell, which I like. I like perfumes and aftershaves that smell a bit different. Alrighty, so next up we have Moscow Mule. According to the website description, Moscow Mule is a warming yet refreshing scent. A really refreshing blend of crisp lime top notes, warming to ginger with a hint of verbena. Our testers liked this scent a lot and said it was both fruity and spicy. Good for those who don't like to smell too sweet. Alrighty, let's give it a try. My bedroom is going to smell pretty fucking amazing after I finish filming this. <laughs> I can tell you that, but oh wow. Oh wow, I just kind of got hit in the face by lemon. Okay, sorry, not lemon, lime. Definitely lime. Mm, yes, again, fresh, clean smelling. Very refreshing. Okay, you're definitely fruity. Definitely a bit spicy. Kind of like, you, you kind of have got the slight warmth of the ginger in there as well. Oh, it smells really good. Again, that smells like really fresh, like you just got out of the shower or something. But it smells nice, I like that. Again, that's, I'd say that, that's kind of probably a bit of a unisex one again, actually. Hmm, I like that one, it smells nice. This one's Cuba Libre. I'm not sure what to expect for this one, actually. Cuba Libre is a gorgeous mix of fruits and spices, top notes of zesty lime and lemon peel, leads to warm at heart of rum, cola, cedarwood and balsam. Base notes of cinnamon, patchouli, oh patchouli, and vanilla finish this off nicely. I like patchouli a lot. Testers love this fragrance. They thought it's suitable for anyone who likes a warm scent. I sprayed that all over my legs. Oh yes, definitely warm. Oh, that's like a really weird, it's really nice, but really weird. Definitely an individual one. Like all the scents in there work so well together. This is really, really, really individual and really different. This is quite amazing actually. Oh, mm, yeah, this one's really nice. Again, I'd probably say this one's kind of a little bit unisex. That is a really, really unusual scent. It's really quite nice, actually. Okie dokie, Peach Melba. Peach Melba is a spicy, fruity scent, very warming. This is a complex and full modern floral chord with the top notes of green leaf and sweet peach. Blending, leading to heart notes of violet, rose, lily, jasmine, amber, and then warming patchouli. Our testers said this is one of their favourites and it lasted a long time. Perfect for those who like their fruity scents with a bit more bite. Ooh, looking forward to this one. Okay, so again, that smells really fresh. Really clean. Yeah, it's definitely quite floral, but not like a floral, like when you kind of like associate like an antique smelling floral. It's definitely a very kind of young, fresh smelling floral. That's really pretty. It is a very, very pretty smell. But it's kind of like a bit of something there, like it said it like a bit more bite, there's something kind of there, it's kind of like, just a bit kind of like, yeah, <laughs> like a bitey perfume, it's gonna bite you. Oh, it's really unusual. I really, really like this one. It's very different, but that's nice. I'm gonna take the word for it that it lasts quite a while, because I think I might wear that one today, actually, if I end up going out in the world. So we've got another pick and mix inspired one, Milk Bottles. 
they were one of my favourite actual pick and mix sweets when I was a kid, you know, the little tiny white milk bottles. Um, I can't actually remember what they smell like because I've not eaten them for years. Um, so yeah, I'm um, excited to try this one actually. Let's, let's, let's spray this one over here, let's mix it up a bit. The description says, milk bottles is a gorgeously creamy sweet vanilla with notes of soft woods and benzoin exotic balsams and orchid. This was a favourite with our testers who liked vanilla. They said it was lovely and soft. Oh my god. Okay, all my childhood just came flooding back to me. This does smell like milk bottle sweets. That's a really nice vanilla. I think sometimes with vanilla scented perfumes and stuff you can find that they're a little bit overpowering and a little bit sickly. This is not, it's not sickly at all. That is a really, really nice scent. I like that a lot. That is lovely. Oh, I think I might find a favourite. Oh, that is so tasty. It literally does smell like milk bottle sweets as well. It smells like you can maybe eat it. I wouldn't recommend eating it, but it does smell like you might be able to. Okay, so we've got another fruity one, a black currant licorice. I, admittedly, I hate licorice, so I'm a little bit apprehensive with this one that I might not like it because of the licorice. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the smell of aniseed or anything like that, so a little bit apprehensive there. Am I going to hate this one, to be honest with you, but we'll see. The description says, blackcurrant licorice contains mouth-watering wild blackcurrant, tart Mediterranean citrus fruits, and cassis leaves with the bittersweet notes of traditional black licorice. This was a favourite with our testers. They loved the fruit opening and the rich base. All right. <sighs> Let's go. I am nervous about this one because I don't like licorice. Yeah, there's a definite licorice scent in there. But you can definitely smell black currant in it as well. Do you know, it's not actually that offensive. I really don't like licorice at all. I hate the smell of it. That's actually all right. There's, you can kind of pick up a little bit of aniseed in there and definitely like a little bit citrus. So that kind of like very clean sort of lemony smell that you get with citrus fruits. Oh, and it's changed. Either my nose is too full of vanilla right now off those milk bottles because, you know, they smell really good. But there's something else in there as well and I can't... I kind of want to say vanilla. It doesn't have vanilla in it. But yeah, there's, there's something else in there that's really like... Okay, now that it's kind of calmed down a little bit, I definitely like it more than now that it's kind of... Like perfume does, like it's sort of like the scent kind of like just sort of sets in and, you know, I definitely prefer it now. That's actually quite wearable. I don't like licorice, but I think I like that one. Okay, so next is another sweet inspired one. This is Mint Humbug. Mint Humbug is a refreshing, mouth-watering peppermint fragrance with soft, sweet candy notes. Our testers thought this could be a unisex fragrance, so it's perfect for anyone who likes to smell fresh and crisp. Okay, so I'm kind of expecting this to smell like I've just walked out of the shower. Let's give it a try. It smells exactly like Mint Humbugs. Like minty, but sweet. Yep. They've melted mint humbugs and put them in perfume. It's definitely fresh, definitely clean, definitely unisex. I think that's a really nice one. That'd be a really nice aftershave. The smell definitely smells very, very clean. I like that. Mm. Yeah, and it smells like mint humbugs. I now want some humbugs. Okay, so another fruity one, berry cheesecake. Berry Cheesecake is a gorgeous fruity scent, mouth-watering top notes of blackcurrant preserve with a touch of soft vanilla, followed by a warm heart and base notes of brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, coca, maple, walnut, citrus and caramel. Oh, caramel. Mm. Our testers thought this was very fruity at first, but then loved how it settled warm and spicy. This one sounds like it's going to smell really good. I'm running out of places to spray things, so it's an all smell the same. Oh. Oh. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so yeah, fruity. Definitely fruity. Definitely blackcurrant. And then you kind of can smell that sort of warmth of cinnamon and brown sugar and stuff under it, and you know, a bit of um, vanilla and whatnot underneath there. Or was it nutmeg? Nutmeg, yeah. Again, that smells like something you can eat. That smells really, really good. I'd see, now whether it's settled in, you can definitely smell the warmth of like the cinnamon and stuff in there. Oh, mm. oh, ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, so we have the last one, strawberry jam. Strawberry jam is a warm, fruity scent, a rich, fruity strawberry jam fragrance enriched by hints of sticky, caramelised sugar. Okay, this one smells like I'm going to want to eat myself when I put it on. Our testers loved this, they looked how fruity it was, I thought our younger customers might like it especially. Cool, so this one I'm expecting to be quite a young scent. 
I don't mean by young scent, something that smells quite very fruity, very sweet. Yep, yep, strawberry jam. <laughs> Definitely strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. I kind of like think this video is quite weird in that I'm sort of like going, that smells so good. <laughs> this paper smells really nice. Look, I have a paper moustache. Ah, oh, I can see actually why they think that it may be suited to like younger people. It's definitely a very kind of young, vibrant sort of smell. And it kind of, you kind of can get like a little bit of sugar in there as well. That smells really, really pretty. It's definitely one that would suit, I think, young, like younger um, girls and whatnot. Or anybody actually who likes the smell of strawberry jam because, you know, who cares what you are if you like the smell of your perfume. That is really pretty. Oh, see, they're all done now. I'm actually a little bit sad. I was really getting into that. <laughs> really enjoying all the new smells. Okay, so as I said earlier on, um, this definitely isn't a sponsor video from Safari Pants. I found them by Googling and I went on there, had a look and thought these perfumes sound really different and really quite cool in terms of the scent options. So you have the option if you're not sure on your scent you want to test them. These little atomizers for £1.50 and you actually get a decent amount of perfume in them. They're a decent size but they're still small so you know, slip into your handbag or whatever. So I actually can't decide what my favourite out of all of these was. I mean, the Kerkuba Libra one was really cool. There's a lot of them that were really, really nice. I'm probably have to go back through and smell them all again. I liked all of them, even the licorice based one, black currant licorice, which I kind of thought that I wasn't gonna like. Even that was really, really nice. They're all lovely, lovely scents. And you know, they're all handmade, they're all vegan, all completely cruelty free, obviously. So they're definitely a good option because they're really affordable too. And you know, they're really different in terms of like the scent options, they're really different. Like, who else makes perfume that smells like freshly baked apple crumble? Hmm? So as I say, all the links will be down below for the Fairy Pants website. I'd say they do nail varnish, they do skincare, they do lots of other different things on there as well. They don't just do perfumes, it just so happens to be the perfumes of the bit I was interested in. But I'm definitely going to go back and try some of their nail varnishes as well, because I could do with some new nail varnishes, so why not? And I have a 10% off code as well to use. So I hope you all really enjoyed this one and I hope that if you're after some new perfumes you go and check Fairy Pants out. They all smell absolutely amazing, definitely give them a try because they smell really, really good and yeah, they're vegan. I will see you all in the next video guys, bye!